your electric service, safe and reliable, there when you need it. ComEd delivers electricity to 3.8 million customers through thousands of miles of power lines. Like most people, you may not even think about your electric service until the power goes out. Power line contact with damaged trees and broken limbs is a leading cause of outages. Outages can also be caused by high winds, ice, lightning strikes, car accidents, wildlife, and equipment failures. The path of electricity from the power plant to your home is comparable to the flow of a river. The power plant is upstream, generating the electricity that will be used in your home. From there, electric current flows downstream along high voltage transmission lines to a substation where the voltage is lowered. Electricity continues downstream on a main or feeder line to a transformer near your home that reduces voltage one final time. Outages occur when the flow of electricity is interrupted at any point between the source and customer. For instance, if a tree falls across a power line during a storm, a fuse will blow, interrupting the flow of electricity. As a result, homes or businesses supplied by that line lose power, often all of them. Fuses and circuit breakers are designed to stop the flow of electric current when power lines are damaged or come in contact with trees. This reduces the risk of injury and minimizes damage to equipment. However, you should never assume a downed power line is de-energized. Never go near a downed or damaged wire. Stay away, stay safe. ComEd's outage management system is designed to handle thousands of customer contacts during severe weather or emergencies. This automated system feeds data needed to verify the location and size of outages in Northern Illinois to the Operations Control Center. First responders are dispatched to determine what resources are needed to repair electric service. Assessing damage and clearing debris, including tree branches entangled in power lines, can take several hours or even days. Safety is always our first priority during the restoration of power. Crews begin restringing wires and replacing damaged equipment, including downed poles, once the area has been cleared of debris. Work begins only when conditions are safe for our crews. ComEd repairs damaged high voltage lines, substations, and distribution lines. This allows us to return electric service to the greatest number of customers in the least amount of time. Crews work to restore power to facilities critical to public health and safety, including hospitals, police and fire stations, water reclamation plants, and communication systems. We also restore power to smaller neighborhoods and individual services. All of these steps are designed to restore service in the fastest, most efficient manner, but doing the job safely takes time. Replacing fallen poles and lines is painstaking work. In addition, damaged equipment affecting your neighborhood may be a considerable distance from your home. ComEd crews are working to restore service, even if you can't see them, in your neighborhood. At ComEd, we continuously review every aspect of our restoration process to improve response times. Recent upgrades include a state-of-the-art mobile radio system and expanded GPS capability across our mobile dispatch fleet. We've enhanced communication with customers, including easy-to-use website tools and two-way texting. ComEd also monitors weather forecasts and takes preemptive steps to plan for emergencies. Our emergency team implements a storm response plan hours before severe weather reaches our service area. This includes bringing in additional ComEd employees and crews from other utilities if necessary. Planned upgrades to the electric grid, including smart meters and other technologies, will help us pinpoint outages faster and more accurately, in many cases, without customers having to call. But an outage can still occur when we least expect it. In the event of an outage, turn off household appliances and electronics, and be sure to keep your freezer and refrigerator closed. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, a full freezer will keep food items cold for approximately 48 hours without electric service. And while the average outage is less than two hours, longer outages are possible, especially during severe weather. It's a good idea to be prepared. Keep emergency supplies in your house, including flashlights, batteries, and a portable radio and cell phone. Remember, we need you to notify us when the power is out. Don't assume your neighbors have contacted ComEd. 
Information from customers allows us to more accurately determine the location and extent of an outage. Visit ComEd.com to report electric service interruptions or text OUT to 26633. You can also report an outage by calling 1-800-EDISON-1. Register online to receive outage alerts and updates on your mobile phone. Double check to make sure you enter the correct number so you can receive text messages with up-to-date information. Our goal is to provide you with timely and accurate information once we have assessed damage and initiated repairs in your area. At ComEd, we work 24-7 to keep the power flowing, but outages can still happen. If your lights go out, you can rest assured we will make every effort to get them back on as quickly and safely as possible.